Hello, this is Daniel Thomas Andrew Daly. This is a Noahide sermon. Noahides should probably follow most of the morality of the Tanakh. Noahides should probably follow most of the morality of the Tanakh. Okay, now, it's very common in Christianity to have a mentality that you don't follow the ritual law of Israel, but you follow the morals, the mor moral code. Very common idea, very traditional idea. Now, the things we call the ritual sort of code are usually things like the sacrificial system and feastal system and uh, various aspects which don't pertain necessarily strictly to a moral code, but the stylistic way of Israel and how it functions as a priest to God. So the morality code, it's things like mainly the Ten Commandments without the Sabbath, which is a feastal sort of thing. The Sabbath is, of course, a holy day for Noahides, but not a day of rest. We don't have to rest on the Sabbath. So the feasts we wouldn't follow and Uh, you wouldn't really necessarily have to follow the compensation rules for for animals being stolen and things like that, but we would believe we would believe in ideas like that. We would just do it our way as Noahides. In the legal civic codes of the Western world, there are compensation principles and fines and things. So that's something which we would probably believe in. We'd we'd, we'd organize it our own way. And probably mainly just follow the law of the land in that respect. We follow the law of the land for dealing with our issues by and large. We believe in the police and things like that in dealing with our issues. So morals, things like don't kidnap people, don't steal from people. We probably don't really believe in stealing from people. We don't. It's not specific outlined in the Rambo Torah, but we probably follow the moral truths of the Tanakh and we don't steal from people. It's not really our way. It's, it's, it's a sin. Come on. The sexual morals, we probably follow that too. Leviticus 18, Leviticus 20, we generally would abide by the sexual morality of the Tanakh as well. Things like the Psalms and the Proverbs, yeah, we'd follow that. We'd follow most of the ideas and psalms and proverbs of the, the Bible. The ritual stuff, for want of a better word, however you wanted to define that, and clearly define which laws would sort of be, which pertain mainly to an Israelite focus in their priesthood to God, and laws which are sort of common enough laws for mankind, things which are moral laws which human morality follows, that's what we would probably also follow in the Tanakh as well, and there'd be things which pertain to Israel. So when it comes to not robbing the hireling of his wage, yes, we would believe in that. We believe in treating employees fairly. Taking care of the orphan and the widow, we would believe in those ideas too. Not oppressing a neighbour, I think we're practically under that anyway. So there's, there's, moral, there's a moral code which we as Noahides follow, and there's a ritual stuff which pertains mainly to Israel. We do have our own sacrificial ideas. That is part of the Rainbow Torah. Noah offered sacrifices. But we don't do it the Israelite way. We do it the Noahide way. But we are Karite. I call this faith Karite out of my Noahide faith, which means the faith is a Tanakh Bible faith, the Hebrew Bible, which Christianity calls the Old Testament. That is our faith. So we can study the Tanakh to get moral enough ideas and guidance and our, our own thinking on it. But uh, we don't follow Judaism and the Judaic practices which mark them out and separate them. We don't follow circumcision. We don't follow their feastly code. We don't follow their ritualistic ideas and dietary requirements and things like that. The stuff in Judaism which is not us, the stuff which Noahides would espouse also.